morning, everyone, and happy Saturday. My name is Callie, and this is another weekend of Clarinet's Cats and Coffee. In today's video, I have an etude for you. Um, it's from the Demnitz Arpeggio Studies, and it's in the key of F major. And I chose it because, as you remember a few weeks ago, I wanted to give you guys a few more etudes in the time signature of six, eight time to kind of get some more practice in with that. And on top of that, I wanted to give you guys an etude to kind of practice playing different types of articulation. So we've got legato tonguing in here, and we also have some staccato in here as well. Before we do that, <clears throat> I wanna say thank you to all of my patrons for supporting my channel. And if you haven't already heard, I have a huge thank you gift for anybody who is a patron of my channel. So um, I have compiled all of the etudes that I have posted on my channel since like the beginning of time into an ebook. And at the beginning, there is an index of all of the videos that go along with the different pages and the different etudes in the book. So you just, you can click on the video and you can see the page that the etude belongs to and you can find it very quickly. And I've also categorized everything into different categories. So you can also just kind of like target specific areas of your playing, whether it's like articulation or embouchure or whatever. So anyway, if you're not already a patron and you wanna get in on this, it's available to anybody who's at the $25 level or higher. It will be available to anybody who signs up for the $10 level for at least three months and for anybody who signs up for the $3 level for at least a year. So, um, you know, just head over to Patreon, take a look at the perks and kind of see what's there. Um, but this is something that I've wanted to do for my patrons for a long time and I'm finally doing it. And I will be updating this every so often, hopefully once a month. So um, everybody can kind of keep everything fresh and and new in their collection of my etudes. All right, so today's etude is this articulation practice with all of these arpeggios in the key of F major. And so um, the things that I've kind of noticed in going through this that I'd recommend looking out for, um, when you have just like the first couple of measures, you have this repeated note uh, that you're articulating, it's really easy to actually play it very unevenly. So I would recommend really listen carefully, practice it with your metronome. I've got this little thing here where I could um, subdivide beats into, you know, two for instance. And so I'm doing this at 104 here right now. And so I'm trying to make sure everything lines up evenly with the metronome. So in doing that, really listening carefully to your metronome and making sure you're not rushing or dragging any of those intervals then you could take it away and you could practice and you can listen and another thing you could do um, to avoid losing time or rushing is to just have one beat per dotted quarter note as is normal in six eight times so you know for instance let's try so this is 50 and we're going to do 50 to the dotted quarter. I'm playing it. It's a little faster than what I just did, but it sounds kind of cool. And then you'll know if you've lined everything up, but you also test yourself on those internal subdivisions. <laughs> So you can go back, if you record yourself, you can go back and listen and make sure you're really lining up like that, okay? So that's the one thing to look out for. So that articulation can kind of mess with our rhythmic accuracy. Then later on, we have some staccatos um, here and there. And what I recommend to give the staccato lines clarity is to um, actually clip the slur right before you play the staccatos and allow the staccatos to have a lot of air at the front of each of the notes so you can get that really clean, very clear at the beginning without it sounding like that, I guess. So, so. And 
And so I'm actually articulating tip of the tongue to the tip of the reed, and I'm not pushing so hard that the reed actually closes off against the mouthpiece. I'm actually just touching it enough so that the vibration stops, but I'm able to keep the wind blowing in between each of those staccato notes. So it's just, these notes are just happening over a constant stream of air. And then where, what's the other thing that we have here? Oh, the accents. Well, we don't have a lot of accents, um, but when you do have these accents in here, you just want to give it a burst of air, but not a percussive punch of the tongue because accents are meant to sound louder than the surrounding notes. They're not meant to be like aggressively attacked with your tongue. <laughs> So you just give it a little bit more air and it'll sound so much more expressive and sweet and beautiful. All right, everybody. So enjoy practicing this. I hope you guys find that this helps your rhythm and your articulation. And at the same time, you're learning your F major arpeggios without having to do a bunch of scale exercises. Um, it's kind of a tricky way to learn that. So um, have fun practicing this. I hope you guys have a good weekend this week, a great week next week, and as always, happy practicing. <laughs> <laughs>